everybody, I thought I'd show you today how to get these awesome little glyphs into your fonts. So you can see them here, there's the little butterflies that are attached to this font and they are called glyphs. They're quite easy to get onto your designs but it isn't always obvious how to do this and I've seen a few people lately asking the question so I thought I'd share with you how to do it. So I'm just on fontbundles.net here and it's just showing you uh, the different types of glyphs that come with this particular font. So I'm just going to go through them now. So this font is called Hey Butterfly and these are all the different characters that are available with this font when you download it. So you've got all of your ones with accents and stuff on it. And then you've got your normal ones and then if you go all the way down to the bottom we have got our ones with our butterflies on. So you get a left and right a butterfly handle and a couple of other bits and pieces. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to do this now. So first things first, just open a new plain canvas in Design Space and type in your wording. So the font that I'm going to be using is called Hey Butterfly, so I thought I would just type Hey Butterfly. And then all you're going to do is go up to your font and change it to the font of your choosing, in my case Hey Butterfly. Right, so once we've got our lettering on the screen, we need to now find the glyphs to add to it. And as you can see, it just comes out really normal. So what we need to do is go down to our font book, or find our font book first of all. So go down to Finder, if you're on a Mac, and then you need to type into the search font book. And there it is. You can also, sometimes if you had it open, it's at the bottom there on mine, but that's how to search for it. And then double click to open it and you've got a list of all your fonts that are installed here in Design Space. So you need to find the font that you're using. So I've found Hey Butterfly and it shows you now all the different characters that are available to be used in this font. So there's lots of different ones. And then at the bottom, there we go. So we've now got the characters that have got the glyphs of the little butterfly attached to them. So Find the one that you want, so I'm going to use this Y here, and then you need to do Command and C to copy it, and then we'll go back to Cricut Design Space, double tap on your font, and then delete your letter, and then paste it into here, and there is your little butterfly glyph. So I'm going to do the same with the H and probably the B. So let's get onto that. So we flick back over to font book. Don't think there's any capitals, so I'm going to look for the H with the butterfly on it. And I want the one that's got it on its left. So there we go. So I'm going to do Command and C and then get rid of the H in there. And then I'll do Command and V or Paste to bring it in. Let's go back now. I'm just going to have a look at the other Bs. I think I'll go for the same sort of thing with the, with the butterfly on the left. So Command and C and then back in there, Delete and Command and V. There we go. Now we can ungroup the words and we can join them all together so that they're a nice flowing cursive font. And now looking at these T's, I can see that they're not going to line up very well. And I noticed in the font book there was an actual double T at the bottom. So I'm just going to put a double T in here. And then I'm going to move that down so you can see it a bit better. So I'm going to go back into my font book all the way down to the bottom. And there is that double T. So I'm going to substitute that now on my design for the double T. So again, double click in. Just delete it and then um, paste that in and then I can get rid of, oops, I might lost my U. <laughs> then I can just get rid of this double T here and move the two that are already joined together into my word. There we go. Let's move this last one across. So now I've got everything all together and it's all nice and cursive I'm just gonna tap on weld that makes it all into one layer 
and now it's ready to cut. Don't forget to weld because if you do you will cut individual letters and we don't want that. So I hope that helps some of you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.